My name's John. I own and run GoBlindPoker.com. I wanted to take the time to give you some insight to our website and application. We've combined two of man's most loved pastimes into an application for your enjoyment, beautiful women, and the game of poker. We provide you with over 300 opponent files and over 7,000 image files in the opponent galleries at the time this video was shot. To view an opponent's gallery, you simply have to beat the pants off the opponent first. Sound pretty easy? Well, I have to warn you, it can be done, and it's not all that hard. But we did spend quite a few hours designing the opponent AI for the game in order to give you a challenge. The AI will bluff and attempt to trick you in several ways. Now, on to the installation of the game. Let me let you know right up front, you've got to have Java installed on your computer for this game to play. Before purchasing our game, we highly recommend that you install Java and then return to the website and play the demos on the home page. After playing the demos on the home page, there is a downloadable free version with a single model that's on our download page that we would suggest that you download and install. So make sure that works. If it works fine, go ahead and buy a game or two. Look and see. I mean, 24 opponents for $2.95, that's not that bad. And you're talking about very little money there, little risk, hardly anything to do. Now, just be aware that you've got to have administrator privileges on your computer and you have got to have Java installed. All right. If you're running an antivirus program, new additions to antivirus most likely will warn you about the file you download, just like most of the files that you download nowadays. You need to be aware of this and we encourage you to contact us if you have any problems via email. If you're running Symantec and Norton, please be advised. Norton throws up quite a few alerts on new software that it hasn't seen or if the file is less than a specific age or if only less than 10 or 15 actual Norton community registered users have, <coughs> base, have downloaded it and such. Now, that being said, we're talking to them about certain things, but We'll see about working it in. It just may take a few weeks to get files approved and such like that, but don't even know if we're going to actually do that yet or not, but or if it's going to be too much trouble. Anyways, what our installation file actually does, it unpacks all the folders and files necessary for the game to attempt directory. All right, it creates the folder directory, program C program files, go blind poker on your C drive. On 64-bit it might be C program files x86 and then go blind poker. It places all the folders and files necessary for the game in the directory that it just created. It then creates a start folder. You know where you go hit your start button and you go to programs it creates a folder in there. That way it's on your menu. We do not believe in crowding your desktop with a bunch of ninny icons. There's no reason for it. But <clears throat> anyways, after it creates that folder, it places a shortcut to the game file in that particular folder. That's your shortcut to start the game. It also registers the game with Windows. It does this to simplify the ease of removing the game if you ever choose to. All you should have to do is, at worst case scenario, is go in and go to your control panel, go to your add remove programs area of your control panel where you manage your programs, highlight the game, and click uninstall. That's all you should have to do to get rid of this program very rarely we see somebody whose permissions are set a little bit differently on their computer and it will leave the parent folder in other words the go blind poker folder in the program files directory just delete it it's not a big deal and it just it's there and it's more, more than likely it's empty all right now the registration of the game is great in order to simplify the ease of removal just in case you want to it, we place a shortcut again in the start 
program files, go blind poker folder, that's an uninstall shortcut. And that's it. That's all our game does. Just a couple of things. It doesn't add any spyware. There are no Trojans in this file. Even if you scan it with Norton or Symantec, I mean, or Norton, Symantec, McAfee, whatever, they don't find any Trojans in our file. The only reason why they put up some warnings and why the antivirus put up warnings is because we have a tendency to update our files on a regular basis. So the file might not be a very old file. We make sure and we scan them ourselves to make sure that they're virus free and such like that. And make sure there's no malware. We're not going to go collecting any information from you. We don't want it. We just want you to have a good time with the game. Alright? We can go have some fun. Try our game out. You might like it. You might not. It's up to you. and Just have fun. Anyways, this is John. You have a great day. That's about it.